Heidi Christopher. Today we are doing a total holiday detox yoga routine. So obviously it doesn't need to be the holidays to do this yoga routine, but it is especially important during the holidays when you're, you know, eating a little extra, drinking a little extra, maybe not sleeping as much. This routine will ring you out give you a clean slate so you can go back to the next party feeling awesome. <laughs> All right, so twists in yoga, super detoxifying, super purifying. Picture yourself like a human sponge every time you twist and just wring yourself out because that's what the twists do. So we're gonna start on all fours, so why not? Come to all fours, hands and knees. Wrist creases are parallel always. Get a good spread of those fingers. Press into the knuckle of the forefingers and your thumbs. Press into your fingertips until they change color. All of these things will protect your wrists. Inhale, arch your spine, look up. And exhale, round for cat. Inhale, arch, look up for cow. Exhale, round. And just one more time. Inhale, arch, look up. Just waking up that spine. And exhale, round. Come to your neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Down dog. So first down dog of the day, soften your knees, or at least for the routine. <laughs> one knee at a time, just opening up those hamstrings. And then inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears, press the floor away. Exhale your shoulders down and together on your spine. Twice more, just like that. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. This is where your shoulders normally are. And then release them down as far from your ears as they can get. One more time. Shrug those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale them down and together on your spine. Really nice. From here, look forward. Bend your knees to the right. Take your hips to the left. Take your butt all the way back to your heels. Inhale forward to plank. Knees to the left, hips to the right, butt towards your heels. And you're just gonna keep doing this side to side as fast as you can, exhaling every time you twist. So exhale, 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 exhale. Really nice, a minute total in this one. So you have about 40 seconds left. Go as fast as you can, making sure you're breathing, remembering that imagery of twisting yourself out, wringing yourself out like a sponge. Really nice. So do this as fast as you can so you can really get your heart rate up here. Of course, you're also working your arms. You're also working your core, your legs, your butt, you know, the whole body. <laughs> you have five more. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Down dog. Oh, look what I just did that. <laughs> Settle back in your down dog. Just listening to your heartbeat, and then slowly walk your feet to the front of the mat. Soften your knees, they can be about hip distance apart your feet, and then bend your right knee, right fingertips on the ground or a block. Inhale your left arm up for a twist. Big inhale here, exhale, bring yourself out a little more. One more big inhale, exhale, twist. Soften your left fingertips to the ground, bend the left knee. Inhale your right arm straight up, big inhale. Exhale, bring yourself out. Twice more, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. So the twist is coming from your torso, not your arm. And then soften both hands to the ground. Soft knees, one vertebra at a time. Slowly roll up to stand. Shoulders, neck and head are the last to arrive. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up. Hands to your heart. Plug your thumbs into your heartbeat. Just take a big inhale here. Exhale out the mouth. Really nice. We're gonna take some twisting sun salutations. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Exhale, right back down, forward bend. Inhale the right leg back to a low lunge. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Down dog. Roll out to plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, chest, and chin to the ground. It's a back bend and it's awkward, don't worry. Inhale, baby cobra, pull that chest through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg high, down dog split. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, right arm is up, twist. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot, forward bend. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up, second side. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, the left leg back, right arm is up, twist. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot, down dog. Roll out to plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Inhale, pull through, baby cobra. In a baby cobra, you should be able to take your hands off the ground. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high, down dog, split. 
Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale your left arm up for the twist. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Forward bend. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up. And again, just moving on a little bit. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, the right leg back. Left arm is up. Twist. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Down dog. Roll out to plank pose. Exhale, we're halfway down for chaturanga this time. Inhale, upward dog. Just toss the feet and hands on the ground. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg high. Down dog, split. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, your right arm up. Exhale, your hands surround your front foot. Forward bend. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, the left leg back. Inhale, your right arm up. Exhale, hands surround your front foot. Down dog. Curl out to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, open that chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg high, down dog split. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, your left arm up. Hands surround your front foot. Forward bend. Slowly roll up. Inhale, your arms reach all the way up. Hands together, relax your thumbs to the center of your chest. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Really nice, you guys. Bend your knees. Sink your hips for a chair pose. Big toes together. Lengthen through your tailbone. Make sure you can see your toes in front of your knees. Pull your belly in. And then inhale, lift up. Hands to your heart. Take your feet mass distance apart. So this is a twisting Kriya. Kriyas are from Kundalini Yoga. So you just start by swaying your arms from side to side. Again, remembering to visualize yourself wringing everything out that you don't need like a sponge every time you twist. So just exhale, 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 exhale. Every time you twist, you're snapping your belly to your spine. Second part of this Kriya, fingertips come to your shoulders. Exhale, 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 exhale. Really engaging the belly here, really wringing yourself out of anything in your body or your mind that you no longer need. Third part of the Kriya is Venus Mudra like Charlie's Angels. Exhale, 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 exhale. Really fast twisting, wringing yourself out for five, Four, three, two, one. Really nice. Shake it out. <laughs> Bend the knees, sink your hips, chair pose again. Lengthen through your tailbone. And then come high to the balls of your feet here. Take your knees wide, reach your arms forward. Keep reaching those arms forward. Gently release your tush to the ground. Lengthen your legs long. Boat pose. Really nice. Bend those knees, take your knees to the right, arms to the left. You are on your right butt cheek here. Just the right butt cheek. And then pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Contracting in the right oblique for 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on through center. Knees to the left, hips to the right, on the left butt only. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on up through center and just take it side to side. So knees to the right, inhale up, knees to the left. Inhale up, knees to the right, and up. Knees to the left, and up. Three more times on each side. Last three, and up. Two to the right, two to the left. Last one to the right, last one to the left. Come through center, hug your knees in. Gently release your back onto the ground. You can take a block in between your thighs if you have one. If you don't, you really don't need it. It just sort of helps you. Take your knees to the right, not to the ground, and then up. Knees to the left. And up, and just twice more on each side. You can take your hands behind your head if that helps, or you can let your head rest on the ground. To the left, and up, to the right, and up, to the left, and up. Really nice, release the block if you have it. Don't worry if you don't, you really don't need it. And then just start to rock and roll forwards and backwards on your spine. Get a little momentum, rock and roll your way right up into that forward bend. Big toes together, heels slightly apart, chair pose. Again, big inhale here, take your hands to your heart, and on your exhale, twist over to the right. Hook your left elbow to your right thigh, keep your knees lined up, big inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And then inhale through center, exhale, twist to the left. Hook your right elbow outside your left thigh, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale through center, to the right again. Big inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale through center, Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale through center. This time we're gonna stay on the right side. 
So again, keeping your knees lined up. You don't want that left one to creep forward because then you're not twisting anymore. You're just moving the body. From here, to your arms out to the side. You can stay right here, or if you're into arm balancing, come to the balls of your feet, plant your palm shoulders distance apart, lean into that left elbow or upper arm, and take a little side curl. You can do whatever you want with those legs. Keeping them close to the bum is the easiest option. Back to your chair pose. Twist to the left. From here, tee the arms out. You can take your hand to a block if you need to. And then you can stay right here. Or again, if you would like to take your side curl, lean into that right elbow. Lift everything off the ground, whatever you want, with the legs, whatever works for you. It's twisting any way you do it. Chair pose, really nice, you guys. Inhale, lift up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Check in with that heartbeat. It should be beating pretty fast if you did the, the side crows. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Really nice. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to a long, flat spine. Plant your palms. You can step, step back to plank or jump back. Chaturanga, landing on bent elbows if you're jumping. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, we're going to flow a little bit. So inhale that right leg high. Open the hip, bend the knee. Exhale your right knee to your right shoulder. Sweep it across to the left. Open right. Inhale up. These are just little hip circles. This time knee crosses to the left. Open right. And up. Do all that again. Knee to the right. Sweep it across to the left. Open right. Inhale up. This time knee crosses left. Open right. Inhale up. Exhale. Step your foot between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Inhale up. Warrior one. Square off your hips. Drop your shoulders. Lengthen your tailbone. Spin onto the ball of your back foot for high lunge. Inhale, lengthen those legs. Exhale, re-bend the front knee, left arm forward, right arm back, twist. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tip back. Reverse your twist, really lengthen out here. Spin the back heel down, windmill your arms open. Warrior two. Front knee is directly over the front ankle, back toes are angled slightly in. Inhale, lengthen your legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, tip back. Reverse your warrior, breathe into that right side waist, create some space there. And then take your right forearm to your right thigh. Left fingertips forward, extended side angle. Open your chest up here. Inhale, tip back through warrior two, all the way back to reverse. Straighten that right leg. Reach your right fingertips forward. Triangle pose. Kiss your shoulder blades together on your back. Knit your front ribs in to engage the core. Reach your left arm forward. Reach your right arm forward. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale to open. Two more. Inhale, strengthen the core. Exhale, open. One more. Inhale. Exhale, open. Come on up to stand. Parallel your toes. Side bend to the left. So really lengthening out that right side waist. And then take your right hand to your left ankle. Reach your left arm up. Bend the right knee. Twist your body open here. Really leaning your chest back. Each inhale lengthens. Each exhale rings yourself out. Take your both hands to the ground. Crawl into the front of your mat. Float your left leg high. Supported warrior three. Flex through that back toes. And then inhale your right arm up for revolved half moon. Take your right hand down. Open your hips. Inhale your left arm up for open half moon. Take your left fingertips to the ground. Twice more. Inhale your right arm up. Right hand to the ground. Inhale your left arm up. Open those hips. Nice. Left fingertips to the ground. Inhale your right arm up. Right hand to the ground. Inhale your left arm up. You're working on your balance and your core here. Left fingertips to the ground. Right arm is up. This time bend the back knee. Reach around for the back foot or just stay in that revolved half moon if this flexibility isn't for you. Open yourself up. Bring yourself out. And then both hands to the ground. From here, walk your hands back to more of a standing split. Drop your head. Big inhale lengthens. Exhale, tap your left knee to the back of the right. Inhale, lift up. Open those hips. Exhale, tap your knees together. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Open up. This time, left knee comes outside of the right foot. Gently release your sit bones to the ground. Right hand is behind you. Inhale, your left arm up. And exhale, twist. Seated spinal twist. Each inhale lengthens the spine. Each exhale rings you out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale. Exhale to twist. Really nice. So from here, you can keep twisting if you would like another side crow, a different variation. 
Plant your palms at the back of your mat. Keep those legs crossed and just lean into those hands. Really stimulating your digestion here. And then come back to the seated spinal twist. Take a counter twist over to the left. And then swing your legs around. Come on to all fours. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round. All right, so from here, we're gonna play with peacock pose. So your wrists flip direction, okay? So your fingertips face your knees, and then you're gonna take your knees wide. So we're not gonna do the lotus variation because that's really prohibitive for a lot of people's knees. And you just walk your feet in, take your knees wide, wide, wide. Your elbows come towards your belly button. So bend those elbows, create a shelf, and then try to take your feet together and lift your knees up. So this obviously really stimulates digestion. And we'll try it again after we do the other side. Down dog. Breathe in your down dog. Relax your head. Inhale your left leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. So these are those hip circles. Left knee to left shoulder, sweep it across to the right. Left and up. This time knee comes across to the right. Open left and up. All of that again, knee to the left, cross right, open left. Inhale up, this time knee crosses right. Open left, inhale up. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, swing your back heel down. Inhale your arms up, warrior one. Square those hips off, lengthen the tailbone, drop your shoulders. Spin onto the ball of the back foot for high lunge. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, bend, right arm forward, left arm back, twist. Twice more, inhale, lift you up. Exhale, twist, one more time, lift and lengthen. Exhale to twist, inhale, tick back. Reverse your twist, really lengthening out here. Spin the back heel down, open to warrior two. Front knee directly over the front ankle, lengthen through your tailbone, knit your front ribs in to contract the core. Inhale, lengthen everything up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, tip back, reverse your warrior, lengthen the side waist. Left forearm to left thigh, right fingertips sweep forward, extended side angle. Open your chest up. Inhale, tip back through your warrior two, all the way back to reverse. Straighten your left leg, reverse triangle pose. Reach your fingertips forward, regular triangle. Your bottom hand can be in your shin, thigh, block floor, just not the knee. Reach your right arm forward, reach your left arm forward, frame your beautiful face. Each inhale lengthens, each exhale opens. One more big inhale, one more big exhale. Come on up to stand, parallel your toes, side bend to the right. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through that left side waist. And then take your left hand to your right ankle, right arm is up, bend the left knee. Reach your chest open and back. Each inhale lengthens, each exhale twist. Really nice, you guys. Relax your hands to the ground, crawl them to the front of your mat. Float your right leg high, supported warrior three, squaring off the hips, flexing through your back foot. Inhale your left arm up, revolved half moon. And then left hand to the ground, open your hips, inhale your right arm up, open half moon. Nice, twice more. Right hand to the ground, inhale your left arm up. So squaring the hips for the twist, opening them for the open half moon. One more time on each side. Left arm is up, left hand down. Inhale your right arm up for the opening. Right hand down, left arm up. This time, if you want to, you can reach around for that back foot. Just give that psoas a nice opening, deepening the twist here. Release both of your hands to the ground. Walk your fingertips back for standing split. Drop your head, open your hips in the standing split, and then tap your knee to your left knee, right knee, left knee, and inhale, lift it up and open twice more. Right knee kisses the back of the left knee. Inhale, lift up, you're making a little ball when your knees tap. And then lift it up. Nice, this time right knee comes outside of the left foot. Use your hands to gently release your sits bones to the ground for your seated spinal twist. Left hand behind you. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left. So you can take your outer arm to the top of the left thigh, or you can just hug it in if that doesn't feel good for you. Each inhale lengthens, each exhale twists. So again, you can stay in this variation of the twist, or plant your palms at the back of your mat and take another side pro variation, just like we did on the other side, keeping your legs crossed, just leaning into that right elbow here and breathing. Come back to the seated spinal twist if you left, and then take a counter twist over to the right. 
don't forget to breathe. <laughs> and then bring your torso up, right? Swing your legs around and we're gonna try that peacock pose again, just for fun. So, fingertips face your knees. Walk your fingertips back, take your knees wide. So it's like a butterfly, just you're not sitting on your butt. Bend your elbows towards your belly button. And then from here, just keep bending those elbows, making a shelf on your belly button, and then lift your feet, lift your knees, and just breathe. That will move anything out of your body. Come to all fours. Inhale, arch your spine, look up. Peacock is like the ultimate detoxifier. Exhale, round. You'll know it the second you do it. Twice more, inhale, arch, look up. And exhale, round. And one more time, inhale, arch, look up. And exhale, round for your cat. Really nice. Tuck your toes, lift your hips for down dog. Inhale that right leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. And we'll take those hip circles, right knee to right shoulder, left, open, up. Just one round this time, crossing to the left, open, and up. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, and inhale up to a high lunge here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, sit back, reverse your twist, and then reach your left arm so far forward that you're in a revolved half moon. And then come right back to reverse twist. Twice more, left fingertips forward. Revolve, tuck, moon, I know it's a lot on your right thigh, it's okay, you're gonna live. Tip back, reverse, and again, revolve, tap, moon, reach to those fingers and toes. Reverse that twist for the last time on this side. Windmill your hands down, down dog split. Roll out to three-legged plank, exhale halfway down, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, you can do it. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, that left leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. Sweep your left knee to your left shoulder, cross right, open and up. This time knee crosses right, open and up. Step your foot between your hands for a low lunge. Inhale up to your high lunge, say hi. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen and lift, bend and twist. Inhale, tip back, reverse your twist, same thing as the other side. Reach your right arm so far forward, you're in a revolved half moon. And then soften back to your reverse twist. Twice more. Reach your arm forward. Float the right leg high. Soften your left knee. Tip back. Reverse twist. One more time. Reach that arm forward. Revolve, tap, moon. Flex, flex, flex. Reach through your fingertips. And then tip it back. Reverse your twist. Windmill your hands down around your front foot. Left leg is high. Down dog split. Roll out to three-legged plank. Exhale halfway down. Three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Turn to the right, turn to the left, and then down dog. Beautiful, you guys. Roll out to plank, lower all the way to the ground. Big toes together, clasp behind your sacrum. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your toes for locust pose. Sway a little right to left here just to open the shoulders. And then release towards the ground and take it up again. Lift, 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 lift. Another great detoxing pose. And release three more times. Lift up and release, and up, and release. Last time, hold it. Lift, lift through those thighs. Lift through your toes, lift through your shoulders. Turn the corners of your mouth up so everything is lifted. <laughs> and then release down. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn your head to the side. Wiggle your hips out. Elbows underneath you. Drop your head for fish pose. Open your chest up, find that upper back bend. Breathe here, metabolism boosting move in with all of the detox moves, just for a little bonus. Breathe, 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 and then tuck your chin. Slowly come to the ground. Take your knees into your chest. Give them a little hug. Rock a little side to side. And then from here, I want you to eagle up your leg. So right leg crosses over once or twice, and then you're gonna scoot your hips over to the right and twist to the right as your knees go to the left. So look to the right, breathe here. Your left hand can be on your hip, your thigh, or it can be teed out to the side. Deep breathing, inhale here. And exhale twice more, inhale. And exhale. Take your knees back through center. And then you're gonna eagle the legs up with the left leg over, right leg under. Scoot your hips to the left, drop your knees to the right. 
look to the left. So again, the right hand can be on the hip, your thigh, or teed out to the side. In the spinal twist, it's really important to keep your shoulders on the ground because that's what lets your spine do the twisting. Because if your shoulder's up, you're not actually twisting, you're just turning. Each inhale creates space. Each exhale moves you into that space. And then take your knees back into your chest. Give them a nice little hug. And we'll just take a happy baby here. So take your hands to the outsides of your feet or to your toes. And then just rock a little side to side. If you wanna lengthen your legs long, that can feel nice. Or you can just keep your legs bent. Whichever one, you're just lengthening out your back after all of that twisting. Open, open, open. And then from here, just take your knees back in, rock yourself up to sit. So like I said, we did a lot of twisting, so you wanna lengthen your spine out so you feel good after this routine. Your back will feel amazing. Big, uh, take your feet together, knees wide. And then you can either grab your big toes or your feet or your ankles, whatever feels good. Take a big inhale here and exhale forward bend. Each inhale lengthens your spine. Each exhale releases you a little more forward. Take a few more breaths here, just lengthening out your back. Relax your head. Holiday season can be stressful, so make sure you're not carrying any with you. Slowly bring yourself up to sit and simply cross your legs. One more twist, left hand to right knee. Big inhale to lengthen, exhale, inhale, exhale, twist. Come through center, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you, big inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale to twist. Come back through center, take a big inhale, reach your arms out and up, hands together, relax your thumbs to the center of your chest, close your eyes, plug your thumbs into your heartbeat, take a big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Namaste. Thanks so much guys, I'll see you next week, happy holiday season, bye.